Hold on to your sorting hats, Harry Potter fans. Do we have a top 10 for you? My name is Johnny Rogers, your Gryffindor guide to the top 10 things we want from a Harry Potter RPG. For those of you who don't know what RPG means, it's a role playing game in which each participant assumes the role of a character, generally in a fantasy or science fiction setting, and they can interact within the game's imaginary world. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. Coming in at number 10, create a character. What kind of witch or wizard will you be? As a fan of past Harry Potter games, we haven't really had the opportunity to customize your own wizard. But for fans, it has always been something that made sense for them to do. Well, guess what, Potterheads? It seems as though in this Harry Potter mobile RPG, we can look forward to making a decision as to what house we want to belong to. But more importantly, this Harry Potter RPG gets right down to the nitty gritty with the ability to customize everything from your character's head shape to their hair and even what they wear. This could lead to a very cool creator community of different wizards with even the possibility of creating a Daniel Radcliffe lookalike. Number nine, proper sorting hat. Now in the clip that I showed you before, it looks like like you can choose your own house and I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this mainly because it gives too much power to the user and pulls away from the starting point of the plot of Harry Potter. I want to see a game that holds true to the story in the sense that you have control over which house you belong to kind of throws it off you know maybe something like a personality test or a sorting code that bases your house off the type of character you build for example if you choose someone with blonde hair and blue eyes it's off to Slytherin for you just jokes kids just jokes Number eight, Quidditch match. What would a Harry Potter game be without a Quidditch match? In previous games, most notably the PS2 version of Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup, we got a very cool game circulated around catching that golden snitch. He's got the snitch! Harry Potter receives 150 points for catching the snitch. Gryffindor wins! Sadly, I don't know if Quidditch will be in the new game, but I'll take a mini game or a challenge mode. It just would be awesome to go head to head with other users on the mobile app. Number seven, updated graphics. The Harry Potter games released in the early 2000s definitely reflect the technology of the time with clunky looking graphics. Even though this is a mobile game, it is still 2018. So I'm hoping for the best possible quality that they can get for an operating on Android and iOS. You know, better graphics just allow the game to become more immersive and keep gamers engaged you know, just while they're playing. I mean, cross your fingers. I, I, I've seen leaked images of another Harry Potter game coming out called Wizards Unite. And even in the leaks, it looks like that game has some stellar graphics. Number six, Fantastical Beasts. With the book release of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them in 2001 by author JK Rowling, we get an in-depth introduction to the wizard's world of magizoology. Man, that's a mouthful. And a description as well as 85 magical species. I would love to see some fantastic beasts incorporated into the RPG, they could be used in a plethora of different ways from discovering them to studying them and even going toe to toe with one perhaps maybe like for a boss mode or something. It is speculated in the leaks though that these fantastical beasts will be included into the third person RPG. Number five, new locations. If you're a fan of the Harry Potter series, then you probably already have a pretty good idea of all the possible locations. There's been many that have been involved within the series, ranging from Hogwarts to Diagon Alley. And what would be amazing is this game allows the discovery of the new wizard world. In this series, we've already had the opportunity to bear witness to 50 unique locations, but hopefully we see some new ones in the RPG. Number four, potions. The importance of potions is a key attribute to any great Harry Potter game and can influence a number of different elements the game can offer. We see potions constantly used throughout the series, most notably in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, where Harry uses the potion textbook, if you will, from the Half-Blood Prince himself, allowing him to outsmart even Hermione. But be careful, because if used incorrectly, it can backfire. In the mobile game, it is confirmed that we will have the ability to attend a potions class and gain experience through a star rated system. Number three, spells. Eight slugs. 
Yikes, that looked like it hurt. Let's hope that in the new RPG, we have some sort of ability to attend classes so we don't have to pull a Ron Weasley. Having the accessibility of a list of spells your character can equip and develop would be a dream come true. Let's hope that they're not pre-equipped though. You know, there's an importance in learning these spells and something that the gamers can build and develop over time. This would create a very unique aspect because it can be based on so many different things. For example, if your house is Gryffindor, your motive for learning certain spells will be much different than someone who's with Slytherin. Which brings us to our number two spot, good versus evil. How awesome would that be? Really having the decision to take your character in different directions, playing out all these different alternate realities within the game itself. Kind of like a choose your own adventure meets Harry Potter. It would also allow users to see new storylines that stray away from the original series. But ones that we always wonder about as the movies typically follow the hero's journey. And lastly, at our number one spot, a sandbox game. A sandbox game is a free roam style similar to what we have seen from Rockstar Games in the Grand Theft Auto series. Now imagine a sandbox style game that takes place in the wizard world itself. I personally would enjoy seeing something like that that's related to maybe the Rockstar classic if you remember the game Bully. It gives the gamer the choice of either attending classes or just roaming around. It would be a match made in heaven if we had a Harry Potter sandbox style RPG that left everything up to the player's imagination. From time spent in class, learning spells and potions, to skipping class, to follow other adventures around the immersive world that is Harry Potter. And that has been the top 10 things we want from a Harry Potter RPG. Hope you enjoyed and to see more videos like this, make sure to stay up to date with all of our newest videos by hitting that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up while you're at it if you like this, if you enjoyed it. If you really enjoyed it, you know, share this video with some of your wizard friends. You know, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And let us know in the comments section what you're looking forward to in the next series of the Harry Potter games. And for now, I've been Johnny Rogers. And until next time, take care.